The learning philosophy behind Discovery Learning is for the student to play an active role in learning. Uh, this course is really much more about reinforcing what you learn in lectures and making sure you understand what's going on in class. The Discovery Learning process was started because we were seeing a loss in the numbers. The students were leaving the uh, program and the sense of chemistry was dropping the numbers. Uh, we were seeing them not attending classes. Uh, the grade point averages on their tests were dropping. Uh, this way I have to study for two hours every week uh, of intensive chemistry on the material that we're learning in class and that way I know what's going on in class, I know what's going on for the test, and I'm able to do better. Well, the operational details of discovery learning is that the students are taken out of the large classroom format now and they're put into groups of four. And these are select they're selected randomly and placed to work together. So we have no criteria about who sits at what table. One person is a manager and will be responsible for how the rest of the group behaves and the actions thereof. We have someone that handles books and calculators. We have another person that listens to the group and writes down the information, prescribes the information, and then there's a blogger. It's not just like you run through the worksheet. It's you have to like think of it as a collaborative effort. It's a lot of fun actually. Um, like I, I get pretty excited to meet my group every week. This group now is put into a situation where they go through problem sets, where they look at development of concepts, they review similar concepts, then they start integrating them, piecing them together across interdisciplinary boundaries. Being exposed to different methods helps me understand them more completely. And in the process, we bring in a lot of entrepreneurial skill sets, soft skills that students need for success no matter where they are in life. Teamwork, communication, self-assessment. We're trying to teach them to think, to be creative in what they do and take action with their knowledge. TAing in the Discovery Center has been phenomenal. As they work through their activities, I am here to help guide them if they have any questions or concerns, if they're unclear about what a question may be asking. It's more successful than we had anticipated. We've essentially doubled the number of A's that we're putting out. And B's are strongly represented in C's. D students are moving into the C range. And this is with hopefully retained knowledge and we're starting to see that anecdotal information that they are spontaneously forming groups as they do in the Discovery Center. They're doing those, in those groups that they form, uh, the knowledge is being retained, we're very proud of. But it also is leading to a problem, is that now we have more students in 102 and more students in 102L and 351, and so we're seeing a lot of pressure on the university to turn on our classes at upper levels. This is a problem that we are happy to have because it means that we're being successful.